Last episode, we hiked up the river to Urgisan Hot Spring. It was a beautiful hike in an awesome valley, and it took us less than five hours to get there. Yay! Now we are going to attempt to save time and energy while having good fun in the process by tubing down the river instead of hiking. Viewers who watched my previous videos already know that this ends badly. We had this great idea that, you know, we hike 12 kilometers up, more than half of it can float on the way back down. Save us a lot of time, or at least be a lot of fun. When two, we all have a diaper, a life jacket, and a helmet. We're protecting our chest, our back, uh, and our head. So there's not much that can happen to you in the river uh, when you get up like this. But still, there's a, a few things to remember. The first thing is... Don't stand up suddenly in the river, okay? If you fall out of your craft, this is a craft, if you fall out of your craft, you wanna make yourself straight like a board, feet or you wanna be able to see your toes. Toes coming out of the water, you can see them, okay? And then lie on your back, you lean forward your head, look where you're going, left, right, so you find a safe place to stand up. And that's the, the most important safety thing. Uh, and then we're gonna test that here. One other thing to remember is that in this um, position, because our bags are gonna be behind us, uh, just do the top part of your bag, don't do the bottom part, the really the orientation is. Water can still get in your bag. Even though it's a waterproof bag with leaning on it or pressing all the air out of it, water can still get in, so if you have any electronics, so you double back. What I want you to do is float on your back and try to go to here to the right, okay? Very good. Yeah, very, very good. Doing great. You can push your hands right and left to change your orientation. Pretty good. Well done, well done. All right, this is how you get in the tube. You sit on it. Woo! Woo! All right, now try to get to the edge and then you get back in your tube. Okay. You just gotta keep going down, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah. Nice, we're done! That was perfect! Did you grab my tube? Woohoo! Oh yeah, I love this. Yeah, yeah! Woo, he's doing it! Oh, that's my book here. Oh. <laughs> Here comes Tyler! it with two hands. Let's see if I can do it with one hand because I'm holding this GoPro. Here goes nothing. Oh, 
Yeah. This whole rock is leaking. Yeah. Unfortunately, I sunk my camera in the river just as it got good. The next five kilometers were much smoother and easier, and we were able to save a significant amount of time by floating down the river. All told, this isn't really the best river for tubing though. The large rock makes floating down more technical and a little painful. We were all very sore and in need of a nap when we got back to the campsite. Tubing is something that can be done all over Taiwan though. Rivers range from so flat and calm that you could fall asleep on them. Challenging with big rapids. Check my website for a list of rivers that are better for more casual fun if you like to tube and kayak. As always, a map of this river and the hot spring upstream are located in the description. 12 kilometers up a desolate valley is really good place to be right now. If you want some serious social distancing, this is one place you should consider for your next trip. Stay safe, everyone, and if you want to receive notifications for new uploads, please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell.